Hey, I'm Kath Long Emmer. Welcome back to Gladiator Manager. It's episode number six in this Let's Play series. All right, so here's the, th the thing. Uh, first five episodes, response has been great. The first episode, a lot more views than what I initially expected for this series. However, the drop rate is more than what a typical series has. And so by the time we hit episode five, comparing that to now episode six, I'm guessing that we're now settling into those who are equipped and ready for a long play series, but it's always going to drop by two, three, four, five views each episode and slowly kind of dwindle down as people have seen what they've seen, either got the game, have enjoyed it, have moved on, or just decided, eh, I liked the game, but maybe not for me or the series itself. You know, you know maybe it's me. It, it could be any of the above. Uh, point is, I predicting at this point usually it's pretty safe after the first three episodes but especially after about five episodes to predict how long a series is going to be sustainable my prediction is probably somewhere between 20 to 30 episodes is about what this series is going to be capable of uh, sustainability wise as a result i feel like i need to push things at a faster tempo meaning we're not going to go through every single match of the season on camera i'm going to be doing more quick sims and i'm going to be doing a little more off camera work with that uh, so that we can get multiple seasons in i'd love to see us in the fourth division third division before the end of this series with 36 matches in a season at this rate we would do one season and that would be it so i'm going to condense things down a little bit more streamline it a little bit more less of the battle content episode to episode as that is absolutely the lengthy uh, time component of this now without elia uh, we are at a bit of a disadvantage into this 1v1 against the fourth place side who is only one win behind us in the standings and they picked up a pretty strong uh, gladiator in marion alfrey then they already have a pretty strong team they are a stronger team on paper than we are we are deeper than they are a 4v4 i think we could probably take them two or three v3 and below they should be beating us and i do fear especially without elia and izzy in there this match that we're probably going to take a, a loss and we could be dropping down to fourth place so as much as those top two teams and we've been keeping an eye on them this fourth place team looks pretty dang dangerous and i think they are could be emerging into the battle uh, for the championship in the league before long i'm going to quickly go through this uh, again as we are needing to up the tempo so i'm going to use the time lapse for this fight let's go forward Yes, yes, okay. Uh, it very much was looking like we were the vulnerable ones. Three times in a row, we were unable to block their movement. Finally, we were able to dodge, uh, predicting the, the, the type of attack that they were using. It worked. That huge shift in momentum then quickly led to us knocking her down, and then we nailed her a second time while she was down, and that was it. We get her to yield. We were the lesser fighter so for the first time we have seen the weaker fighter claim victory uh, despite being overmatched and you can see that in the 1v1s a lot more than other places because it's just one one fight that you need to overcome if you're a disadvantaged 3v3 and all three are weaker <laughs> good luck good luck even if you get that 3v2 and maybe balance the cards a little bit there's still a good chance that they can come back and, and and get the best of you a lot of the time though what we ultimately could see is the best fighter period if the arena can win period regardless of who's around them uh, certainly not always nice nice payout for that one it looks like the uh, reputation piece is starting to become a bigger factor new recruits available uh, we have 
a handful that are dead, but training wise, oh, that's mostly age. We need to get uh, Ruta Vicious in, into his fights before he becomes less good. Less good. Uh, okay. This is speaking towards Quicksim in this next one. In terms of the league, no change. No change at the top. We expand the gap over Visantia with the win to now two wins ahead of them. So that's four points clear. Uh, the for and against is also in our favor, but not necessarily a guarantee. And the Ovalava, we're fairly close to where they're at. The uh, the plus minus, but the, the two game gap is is going to be the hard one. Uh, Ten and three, certainly doing well, but we we've got plenty of room still uh, for growth to try to catch up to those two. So take a look at the barracks. Our balance is starting to look better. Our money available for salary for hiring is, is definitely looking better. Let's see what we can do. We won't necessarily look at firing anyone just yet, as we kind of already know what's going on with that. Decimus Cortin, two stars, no. Even if they have potential, that's nah, okay. Okay. Victoria Walker, weapon skill is good. Uh, she's 32, though. Would be free to hire. Nine fights is what she's up for. Uh, until I know more, we'll pass on that one. Intelligence is high. There are some good traits there. I just don't know how good she is. She could be two, two and a half stars. Or she could be four stars or better. Uh, probably no. I'm thinking no based on what I see here. Two and a half stars and no cost. 19 fights, but 34 already. Uh, we'll pass. Definitely no. Another no. Could be. Zaneda. Uh, 2500 on the recruitment cost, but that's probably because there's some quality. At 38, though, we're going to see regression. And she's got to be pretty dang good to to hang on to. Uh, thinking about it. Thinking about it. Uh, definitely no on this one as well. Might have high potential for all I know, but until we know that part, definitely not worth signing as that was a 15-year-old, so would have lots of time to develop. Uh, Zaneda is a maybe. A definite maybe. Could be three stars, though. Could be four stars. Uh, I'm looking at probably minimum three stars, but if they're just three stars, I'm thinking that's not really worth uh, 2500 so really just two to look at, and uh, neither one ready to sign on at this moment. Uh, we're going to move into our 2v2 fight. Let's go ahead and quick send to the end. We should win this. Doesn't mean we will, but like I said, we're going to take some risks. Uh, two to one. We actually did not win this thing, hands down. Looks like Rita Vicious uh, went down in the fight. They yielded. Uh, hopefully they do not come out of this with some type of injury, but Titus Lolius, uh, I'm sure is the one who knocked out Rita Vicious, uh, nearly won the fight for him. Zantio, three matches back now, so we went from just ahead of him to uh, pulling away a little bit. Gap the top, he's the same as those two are just beating up on everybody around him. But like we noted not too long ago, uh, Dirachium is about to lose their top two fighters, and we're going to see that impact uh, before too long. They've probably already lost the top one, I would imagine. Uh, we got a dead fighter. Leone Ellery has died. Uh, Oksana yielded even though she ended up with a 10.0 rating. 
Not sure. You you take out two and then you yield to the last one, I guess. But then how do you get a 9.34 on Izzy? That's a strange rating. That really is. Uh, damage dealt. 87,000 to 69. Injuries inflicted 38 to 2. Where do you yield, Oksana? Where? Why? <laughs> the injury must have been bad. Oksana ready to level up, but also it looks like she uh, she's going to have some issues to deal with. Okay, Rudavicious is back. That's good. Animatia, leadership plus nine. She is just about ready to start contributing for us. Now, that's a few weeks in. Uh, we're up against the fifth place side in the next one. Let's go ahead and check in on the market and see what more we know about these guys. Uh, Victoria, that's the one we were watching out for as a maybe. And then the other one, okay, Josh, two and a half stars. So that's a no. And Zaneda. We know a little bit more about, just slightly, and definitely looks pretty good. But at 38, I worry. But as a slave, there's no salary involved. It's a one-time fee. I think we we need to replace a couple fighters, so let's take the risk. Three stars. That's, that's what I was worried about. I said minimum was three stars, and I was worried that it was only going to be about three stars. Four stars or better was kind of what I was hoping for. Three stars is exactly what we got, and I did call it. Uh, do we want to take our chance on the free Victoria? Now I feel like we need to. Two stars is all. The other areas were quite weak, and the potential, ugh. Okay, so not what I was hoping for there. Animatia is now a two-star, so she is just about ready to get in there. Uh, Elia will be back soon. Izzy's at her five stars, but fading. Uh, Domitia, two and a half. Fred, can I get rid of Fred now? Just two stars. No. Matella went from one and a half. She's now two stars. So she, even though she only improved slightly, she was right on the edge, it looks like. Esther still at the one and a half. Millie starting to drop. Primus. Can I get rid of Primus? Probably not. No. Vicious is dropping. Oksana, ready to level up. There we go. Let's see what we get here. Quick feat. Passive skill. Five times bonus to their dodge skill. Only applies when dodging to the uh, feet or legs. Weapon guards, passive skill, guards are fitted onto the fighter's weapon, making it easier to parry the fighter. Gets a plus 20% bonus. That's permanent. That's only to certain types. So I think the weapon guards is the one that makes a little more sense. Only four fights left for her, and she'll be out for a week. Our 4v4 is against... The fifth place side and they are down a large large number of fighters holy cow they can barely even pull four together and only one decent fighter the other what four choices they have five choices they have are awful so uh we're gonna play this one out at least a bit and we're also going to use some of our lesser choices, but also some of our near retirement choices to make sure we get the win. So I want Adnamesha in the fight. I want Sammy in the fight. They're down to two fights. We can get rid of them soon. Uh, Domisha maybe, Victoria. Get rid of some of these potentially Ridovicious should have been ready. I was going to use them, but okay, fine. Uh, maybe Millie. Let's see, what else do we have for the expiring variety? Uh, we already have one lesser. 
Maybe we can use Fred. No Izzy. We're going to save Izzy. So are we looking at either Esther? Let's get Esther in there. All right, here we go. We should have a strong upper hand. Who is the strong fighter that we got to watch out for? This one right there. Bruno right now is matched up with Esther. That's not the one we want matched up. We don't want our weakest matched up with their best. All right, we want you to slot in. We want you to attack. You have an advantage, but not a massive. We have a huge advantage right here with Animatia. Look how good Animatia is already compared to what she was. Okay, uh, I don't necessarily want you to engage, but go ahead because she's just going to be locked in defensive throughout this fight. Charge in. Somehow nobody? Oh, there we go. Now the fighting. Alright, everybody's locked in except for right here. So charge in and now just defensive all the way for Esther. Gotta watch what type of movement they're gonna use on a regular basis so we can either defend or dodge. And then Fred has an advantage, but not a crazy advantage. So go ahead and go defensive for now. Animatia, th this fighter is so weak. Animatia should destroy them quite quickly, and that's where we'll start to gain the upper hand. So she's going to be aggressive. Okay, good block. Good block. Not sure how when you were assigned to defend. Or to attack, he went on defensive. Okay, and we're locked in here. Though you did take some damage there, Sammy. Sammy, you do have an advantage against Claudia, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, that's another weak one. So, the two flanks are what should clear first, and then the outside two uh, should join with the inside two to take on their opponents. Which means... Fred is okay there. We just want to make sure there's control. 80 torso damage. Adamasia already starting to gain that upper hand. Uh-oh. The net worked. Esther. Come on now. Come on, Esther. You're on defensive, and you still can't handle it. Nice, Adamasia. There goes the net move. Does not succeed though. Oh, animation knocks out her opponent just like that. Now with Fred's help, they should be able to take care of Fernia. Sammy in control of this fight as well. And go for it. Press the advantage. Okay, and we will... With that, and meanwhile, defensive. Couldn't block it. 12 left foot. Come on, Esther, hang in there. Can't block that one. That one hurt, but not too bad. Esther, you just gotta stay alive. Animation inflicting good amount of damage that oh it knocked her out wow wow she conceded just like that she only got hit once 21 right arm dang bruno is the top fighter so we gotta watch out esther esther still worried but we'll have both flanks clear before long uh, i want to swap friend animation do i let's swap these two 
They're similar, but I'd rather have Adnamesha in there, gaining the experience, wreaking havoc. Uh-oh. Esther, angry and fallen. Get that sword thrust in there on that guy while he's distracted, and then go ahead and rest. Esther, you gotta get up. Sammy, why are you low morale and energy against that weakling? Maybe we should go for the uh, sword cut. Okay, well he went for the dodge. That's going to give us a chance to get up. Esther does. Okay, sword cut. And defensive. You have energy. You haven't even been attacking. <laughs> but Esther just cannot seem to block this Bruno guy. Ouch, Esther. And Esther's out. Kind of saw that one coming. It was written in the cards, but they were locked in. They were engaged. Let's get you both into this fight with Bruno so that he does not team up on Sammy. A better two-on-one. Bruno's not going to be easy to beat here, so we, we hopefully can get uh, Sammy to beat Claudia before too long. Still has the advantage. Can't get through on that one. Alright, sword thrust for you. Charge for you. Okay, they both charge in. Adamasia takes a lot more damage. And meanwhile, Sammy just not taking care of business against a much weaker Claudia. Sammy's our strongest fighter, I believe. On either one of you can land a hit, huh? All right, go for the outflank. Go for the defend. Let's try to get some control here. Sammy, <sighs> come on, Adamasia. Apparently, we need to be dodging because she's not stopping. Oh, come on, she's out. She takes light damage twice, and she's out of the fight. Uh, okay, on paper we should be better. Things aren't going according to plan, but if we quick sim, maybe it'll turn in our favor right now. Uh, frustrated with how things are going. Let's just get out of here. 4-2. They won! Wow. All four yield. One, I told you, one decent fighter can be enough. Bruno... Took out the whole team by himself. We had them four to two. And then we lose four to two. He took out all four. That one decent fighter. Well, Adamasia, strength and bravery both improving. Uh, quite a few improvement as a group, but what do we have? Rita Vicious, who it said he recovered last week, is recovered this week. Uh, Oksana also recovered. We'll get them back. And we're into the cup against a Division Two side, Segovia, who's going to have a significant advantage, which means it's time to sacrifice some individuals. Uh, our position in the league gets a little bit weaker. Ovalava takes their second loss, but I'm guessing that was to Duracium. They've they should. They were due for that matchup. So we're back to two behind and two ahead. Uh, disappointing loss on that one. You know what? We had a kill. Uh, not this round we just played, but the round before. 
and we're only getting credited for one so it looks like there is a little bit of a bug there and I'm guessing this is well it could be really any 3v3 all right they have taken a lot of losses no no they've taken a few losses but they are clearly a much stronger team the cup as a fifth tier side not a focus yeah they're second in their league and division two so they're second in division two mm -hmm. right we're not gonna win that one so what do we do we say oh i want to say farewell to sammy but we can say farewell to domitia or victoria who sadly was not uh what we were hoping she would be uh Where's the other one we signed? No way are we putting Izzy. Zaneda was the other one who was not what we were hoping. And we'll sacrifice those three. They're going to lose. We're going to quick sim straight through. And did anybody die? They won 3-0 as expected. Victoria knocked unconscious. The other two yielded. We actually injured their top fighter. So, hey, we did something. We dealt 35 damage and gave one injury to their top fighter and only took six injuries. So considering the loss, uh, that could have been much worse. All right, so out of the cup. New recruits available. Domitia improved well. That's nice. Nobody died. I suppose that's okay. A uh, couple coming back from injuries. Now, we have a handful that are injured. Let's check in on just how bad is that. Fred, back in a week. Uh, let, let's just go through the team and see where everybody's at. Adnamasha is ready. Okay, I thought she had an injury. She's up to two and a half now. Elia, back in a week. Zaneda, out for a month. Izzy is fine. Domitia, out for a week. Fred, out for a week. So most of them will be fine by the time we begin this next round. Matella is okay. Esther is out for a long time. I can probably let her go. Yes, I can. Okay. So we got rid of Esther. That's good. That is progress. Uh, let's see. Millie is good to go. Primus is healed. Uh, still 10 fights left, unfortunately. Redivicious is good to go. Victoria is badly wounded. And uh, we can let her go. Yes, we can. Okay. So she was in for one fight. Filled in for the cup. Oksana. Lost her big toe, and her foot was impaled. I'm assuming right around her big toe. <laughs> uh, that's not a good injury, but also not somebody I want to get rid of, even though she only has four fights left. Sammy, only out for a day. Can't fire him, and he's got one fight remaining. Finally, Aurelia. Aurelia could grow into three stars, I don't know if that's going to be good enough to hang on to. All right, here's the new ones. Ellie, just one star. Andalicious. Probably not good enough. Yeah, it's Victoria. Billy's no good. There's Esther Servius. Wow, come on. Where's the good choices? That second set was so good and then since then we have not had anything Gaius might be two two and a half stars that's it that's it nobody worth signing so let's get some people healthy there's a bunch of recoveries so at least they're available Animatia, strength and weapon skill both improving. Gaining her in a fight was still, it was a good thing. 
Eighth place side is up next, and that was it. It was only one week off. Elia is how close? One more day to the not funny, but not humorous, fractured humorous. So one more day. We got to get through a fight against the eighth place side. It should be back to the, yeah, we're back to the 1v1 stage. You never know what they might have. And our top one is not available. So no guarantees. But we got through that whole round and a cup match in this episode. So I, th I think that was a little better. Uh, Dratium should be coming up quite soon. What are we at? 16 of an 18 match side. So yeah, they'll be our 2v2 this time, Dratium. Is that right? I think so. I think that's what we're in for. So... That's coming. Uh, good luck to us on that one. But again, they might not be as strong as they were. <laughs> they they might be down a notch, but we'll, we'll see. Like I said, it was going to be a bit to get them down and out from both of those top fighters. And they might have found a replacement. We aren't finding squat. But that doesn't mean they didn't, because we've seen other sides that were definitely down the order that suddenly had some fighters that were really good that hadn't been in a fight yet. So, uh, we got our hands full. We're doing well, though. 12-4, and four, certainly not a terrible record. We got three out of four wins uh, that time. But the one loss, a little disappointing considering we started up 4-2 like that. And then uh, it was a little unfortunate that Esther was matched with their top fighter. Uh, if somebody else could have held out a bit longer, we could have kept and pressed the advantage. Uh, and then Sammy just made a meal of that thing. Sammy really made a meal of that thing. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.